Hi everyone, this is Sanjana from Mockat, and today I'm continuing our Ask Us Anything series where we address all of the questions and doubts that you all have beyond your prep. So definitely subscribe and follow this to get all of your questions answered. Put any questions that you have in the comments of this video or any of the videos on this playlist and we'll do our best to answer it as soon as possible. We have seen quite a few comments from you and we have videos lined up for those. So stay tuned. Now today I'm going to talk about how you can improve your profile for IIMs at other top MBA colleges. So before we speak about the profile, I'm just reiterating what I've mentioned in my previous video, which I link for you in the description. In case if you haven't watched that, pause this video, watch that first and then come to this so that you get the maximum value. But in short, these are the criteria that IAMs and other top B schools use to shortlist and select us. And of these, the CAT or the other entrance exam score is the most important. Sometimes, in fact, many times going all the way up to being the only criteria. And for the final selection, typically the personal interview is something which is the most important. So when it comes to building your profile, what are the things here that you can and can't change? Now, what you can change, which is unrelated to your profile, is definitely your CAT score. Uh, that is something which we have to absolutely focus on. And then another thing is your performance in the personal interview. And of course, the VAT and any other things like group exercise that come up. Another thing that you can change is work experience if you've already graduated or internships in case if you're studying. And uh, this is something which will add to your composite score for IAMs wherever they consider it. And it's also something that you can talk about during the personal interview. And I'll talk in much more detail about the personal interview because that's an important parameter when it comes to where your profile is useful. Now, what you can't change will primarily include your academics, the past academics and diversity, whether you qualify for that or not. So let's understand how we can build our profile, where it is important and what are the things which I would recommend that you do. Now the primary place where building your profile is important is going to be in the personal interview and that's why it's sort of an intangible uh, because of course you could be a fresher, you could maybe not have participated in a lot of initiatives and you still might you know perform really well in your interview and of course you can still definitely get a great CAD score, in fact that's really important. Uh, but that is where a lot of the activities that you do will come into discussion. So in your composite score for example, if uh, let's take IIM Ahmedabad, they are giving 65% weightage to your CAD score and the remaining 30 5% is equally split among your 10th, 12th, your college score as well as your work experience. So any initiatives that you've taken, any leadership displays that you have, any competitions and all, these are not things which will count towards your shortlisting. But during your final selection, these are all things that you can bring up in your interview and help them to see that, yes, you are the right candidate, whether it's for IIM Ahmedabad or any other top B school, right? So from that perspective, certain things which you can do is work experience if you have already graduated or intern if you are still studying. So preferably look for something which is relevant. So even if you're an engineer, for example, rather than looking at something which is just on the coding side, think of what you're coding. So if you're doing something around data analytics, that is something which could potentially help. Or if you are, uh, you know, working somewhere where you can build SEO or something like that, look at the marketing aspects of that. So think of something which is relevant. Uh, if you can go for something which is a little bit more relevant, say, copywriting or content writing, something on the finance side, or maybe, you know, use coding or use your tech knowledge for supply chain and operations. So things like these would again be very helpful. And these are also things which will add value when you are, you know, basically applying for your summer internship. Another thing that you can do is take up relevant courses. Now, there are some courses that you get in IM websites as well as there are a host of other websites where you can get short relevant courses. And this is something which is especially helpful if you are not having a commerce background. If you don't have this commerce background, you still can get an understanding of, you know, some of the tougher areas like finance, economics, or areas which you are interested in by taking up some of these courses. And you could take a few of them and you can also get an idea of these before you get into the B-School. And this would, of course, really help uh, if you are asked something like, you know, why do you want to do an MBA if you're not coming from a commerce background? Because you can talk to them about your interest in this area and you can back that up with these courses. Uh, you can also look to take up life projects. So these would typically already be coming into your college or you can again look for outside sources. So internshala is something which is of great help when it comes to either internships or projects. So things like these. Uh, again, uh, you know, try to look for either the company being really good and well-known or the work that you are doing being something that really boosts your profile. 
uh, participating in competitions, especially if, you know, you win them, you're in the top three, top five, or, you know, in the initial shortlist, something like this, again, really helps. Uh, if you are studying in college, I'm sure there's a lot of competitions that are coming, a lot of fests that you can be a part of. Uh, you can also look at sources like Unstop, which used to be D2C, where you have a lot of competitions. And there are many competitions in B schools themselves, which are open to those who are maybe doing their UG or who have just graduated. So that's, again, something that you can look out for. Another thing which really shows that, you know, you are somebody who takes charge, you're somebody who's driven, is if you are participating in initiative. So what it shows the insurance and what it will also show the companies that come in to, you know, shortlist you and hopefully select you, uh, is that you're somebody who stepped outside of your comfort zone, you're someone who's not just studying or, you know, doing only your work role. You're also volunteering and taking up other things. Uh, it also showcases, you know, your team spirit, leadership potential, maybe creativity and other things, your ability to juggle multiple things at the same time. Time. So this is definitely something which B schools would like. And again, you can uh, look for things happening in your college or in your company, uh, as well as, you know, certain outside things. So even something like a social outreach or something like that would also be. And you can also look to build your interests. So if your hobby is reading, one, look to, you know, read classics and you could look to start a book club or post your reviews or something like that. If you like cooking or baking, then, you know, can you actually, uh, you know, use Instagram ads or, you know, work with food bloggers and actually sell what you are making. So any interest that you have, see how you can develop it, how you can expand it. Maybe you could participate in competition. Maybe you could just put up, you know, short videos or reels around it. Uh, just look to make it something which you're enjoying, but you're also able to talk about it. Now, all of these would go a long way towards building your profile and some would directly also boost your composite score for your shortlisting. But there's one more thing which you can do, which a lot of people don't, which is something like current affairs. So you can just head on to mockcat.com and you can read the five curated news articles that we have. I'll put the link for you in the description. But the reason for this is current affairs is something which definitely comes up in interviews. And a lot of times it could be something which comes up in your written ability test topic as well. Uh, so if you start off early along with your cat prep, that is something which will set you apart as compared to, you know, people who are maybe not reading current affairs, not following it, or who just started following it after cat got now, I would definitely recommend that you take all or some of these up along with preparation for CAT and the other management entrance tests. But please don't do it at the cost of your CAT prep because you need to first get to the interview and then talk about. So I have students, for example, who come up and ask me, I'm graduating in May. Should I work or should I spend, you know, this time in CAT prep? What will I do? I'll, there'll be a gap. But the thing which corporates see the most is going to be which insured that you are in. And the thing which these insures are going to, you know, highlight or focus on is your CAT or your OMED score. So that has to be your most important priority. But that's, again, not something which should take a lot of your time. Now, if your college or your work is really hectic and you have only, like, say, 8 to 10 hours a week, then your CAT prep should be what you completely focus on. But if you do have time, you can look to take up some of these profile builders that I spoke about. And if you want to give it your all for CAT and you want to prep with 99.9 plus percentilers, just head on to mockcat.com. We have free resources and guided coaching, which is led by Vignesh and me. And if you want more support on this, you can also call the number that's in the screen in front of you for a free one-on-one -on -one session where you can get more guidance from our team. So all the best.